Right now, our team coverage continues as the president's speech attracting large numbers of protests. Well, that led to more than a few verbal conflicts with President Trump supporters and at least one arrest tonight. Fox 17 Sky Arnold live outside Municipal Auditorium with that part of the story now. Sky. Well, as you can see, those uh, demonstrators, the crowds, if you will, they've all left earlier today, though so many supporters and opponents showed up here. Many that wanted to get inside could not get inside. So instead, they gathered right here where we're standing for what turned into one big demonstration of free speech. Before President Trump even made it to Nashville, Fisk students like Jordan Collins were already on the march. We do not agree with any of his policies and we will not stay silent. That group walked to Municipal Auditorium where Trump supporters have been waiting all day. We all matter! We all matter! The combination immediately I know you're a coward. brought fireworks. But stupid or greedy is all I can find. Just because we support President Trump, we're supposed to be stupid, greedy people. Well, guess what? I'm a veteran, and I support Donald Trump. The two sides argued. Hey, be cool. That's okay. Be cool. And sometimes even debated. It's not a Muslim ban. And then even more people showed up. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Around 5.30, this huge crowd of protesters marched in from the Metro Courthouse. There's just no reason for it. I mean, he's your president. You need to accept and give the man a chance. The combination placed both sides standing even closer together. I'm not going to touch you. Police took one man out in handcuffs not long after, but this 71-year-old believes the protest has been worth it. And I can't believe I'm doing this. For those who don't support President Trump. But when you believe in something, you have to stand up for it. Now, those two groups argued over a number of issues tonight, from issues like racism to immigration, even health care, some of the very same issues the president talked about inside tonight. Reporting live downtown Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.